Hi guys, how's it going? We have a bunch of the tractors out here today because we're getting ready to go to a show later this week and we're just getting everything prepped and I figured what better time than now to do a collection update video. This isn't everything we're gonna be bringing to the show um, and we have a lot more that we're not bringing. I'll show all that in this video. But while we have these lined up, I figure we'll start here. First one is my brother's one hand round fender. We got the deck rebuilt with new spindles put in it and everything earlier this year. We still need a belt if he's gonna mow with it, but it's all fitted up and ready to go. It's a pretty nice tractor. This one's my Panzer. This thing's pretty loaded with local history. Um, got some interesting options on it. It's got the foot pedal control, the rear backrest, um, mower deck obviously. I've got the blade for it right there. And there were a few other things on this I can't remember at the moment that just kind of made it an oddball. But I'm the third owner on it, and I'll probably never get rid of this one. Next up is my 100. This thing's also getting close to be fairly well optioned out. I've got headlights in it, the correct style aftermarket taillight. We have the three point with the Brindley draw bar, rear PTO. Um, it's got this knob and original style steering wheel on here. My cap is gonna be in tomorrow, so I'll have the IH cap for it. Fenders and creeper gear, so, and the hubcaps. That'll be at the show. It's got the scoop toad on it, which I guess I'll show real quick because people always wanna see videos on these. These are really awesome. You can pull your lever here, and it's not all the way up right now. We can flip this bucket up, flip, flip these over and it'll lock it in that position. And then you have a greater blade. So, pretty cool design. I like it. And I uh, thought about having a cultivator plow on it or even the deck on it for the show, but I think that'll be nice for when I'm buying stuff in the swap meet. But yeah, it's pretty much ready to go. My 710, this one I've had, I think the longest out of all of these, except for my Cub Original which I'll show later, but this one had a 10 horse in it. I still have the original motor. Nothing's wrong with it, I rebuilt it, but I had a 716 that the rear end went out in and I had just rebuilt the engine in this, or in that. So this got, that one's a uh, 16 horse Kohler. Obviously I've done a little bit to it. I've worked on the jets and the carbs, so it makes a lot more power than it should. It's got hubcaps rear spotlight i used to have headlights on it and stuff um i need to put the electric lift in it still and then i've got a uh, alice chalmers lawn sweeper for it too this is made by parker they made all the lawn sweepers for international and cub and wheel horse and all them so and parker sold them under their own name too next one is my dad's 856 wheel horse um on these I'll run you guys through the modeling numbers on these just for later because we're going to have a lot of these in this video. The eight first digit there is your horsepower. So this has got an eight horse Kohler. The five is the series. Um, most of the fives had four speed transmissions with electric start. And then the six is the year um, during the 60s decade. So this one's a 1966 eight horse uh, four speed. Next up is the 700. This was an economy line tractor. I think it was last year for the early style square hood. Um, 1969, would have had a six and a half horse Tecumseh. I don't like them, so we swapped it with this Magnum series eight horse Kohler. It'll eventually get a K series, but this one's never broken down, so we've never had a reason to pull it out and replace it. Um, good little tractor, four speed. Never had any problems with it. This one is my round hood, I ended up going to sell it my dad wanted it so he bought it off of me um not really a lot to say about it i did a quick and easy restoration on it because uh, i bought it a week before the show last year so almost to this day i bought it last year one year ago uh, swapped the engine in it because it had no engine when i bought it and it's been the same ever since i finally sourced out that little guard for it there we just need to paint it still before the show but it's a good little tractor. I believe this is a 1964. Uh, I don't know the model number off the top of my head though. This is my brother's Charger 12. Uh, the seat on it is kind of cool. 
This is actually mine, but I bought it off a guy and it was a Bolin's seat and we put it on a wheel horse seat pan. But since it's Bolin's, it's this dark brown fake leather stuff. So it matches the wood grain decals, which is why I ended up wanting to put it on this tractor. So it's kind of a cool seat. This one's got headlights, hydrostat obviously, uh, manual lift, nothing too fancy about it. I don't think we have the mower deck or anything for it, but it can pull a disc or a plow. It's got the Brindley hitch fitted up too. I'll walk along the backs of these two. The 10A, my dad got this quite a few years back for 50 bucks. This thing spent most of its life in a cow field, but basically never got used. Um, the, mechanically, this tractor is brand new. It doesn't smoke at all. It had the original filter on it. Um, a seat on there is mine. The armrest are my brother's. We've kind of all pitched in on this just because this one's a really cool original one. And then the mid and rear mount cultivator setter, my brother's that he got when I went to go buy a tractor. So, and it's got the original wheel horse wheels on the back and tires and everything. So it's kind of a cool tractor, no headlights, but we're working on getting some headlights for it. And then this is my brother's 875, same as the 856, just one year newer. But, uh, or I said 875, 857. I messed it up because I have an 875. Um, this one, he's just almost done restoring. It'll be at the show. The wheels are getting painted as we speak. And yeah, it's just basically getting wrapped up in the final stages of assembly. I just got the decals on today. This one has the cast iron hitch. 10A has the Brindley. Charger 12 has the Brindley. Round hood has cast iron. Nothing on the 856 or the 700 right now. 710 is just a pin hitch. 100 is a draw bar. Both of these both just have a pin hitch. So now on the shed over here, got a few of the Kohlers. This is the engine for the Al Chalmers, the factory one. That's out of a Ford 120, 10 horse Kohler, both these are. And then an eight horse Kohler that I already have rebuilt for my uh, Cub Original. I just haven't ever assembled it. And then the basically brand new wheel horse hydrostat rear end in there. My dad's 12, this one needs rebuilt, so it's not going. We've got two Dixie choppers. Only one of them's in here right now. And then a couple sickle bars. I've yet to find a brand on this. I think it's probably homemade. I'm gonna modify it more to fit my Cub. It's gonna go on the back and just run off my rear PTO. And then a hay band that I'm gonna, it's missing pieces, but I'm gonna fabricate the whole frame and struts and everything so it'll go on my Cub. And then my brother's original on a basically really good round hood series John Deere hood and some other miscellaneous parts. So now we'll go up here. Got a Massey my brother needed for the rear end. I'll show the tractor that went into here in a minute. Here's my original. This one has a ripped frame. Had to seize transmission when I got it. All kinds of stuff. I've gotten the transmission freed up and I've worked on welding the frame, but this one's always been a back burner. It'll get done someday, but it's it's never been at the top of the list really this is a little go-kart i just recently picked up i don't know if i'll keep the go-kart but i wanted it for the Kohler. A little k90 on it there's a, another video on my channel of this if you're interested in seeing it i haven't got it driving yet it just runs but uh if i ever get around to it we may get it running and driving if there's enough interest in it and then the 417a this has a friendly hitch came with the wheel horse plow and the tarp and hydraulic lift hydrostat drive series 2 Kohler uh, 17 horse so it's pretty nice two Brindley cultivators one with the wheel horse setup for the cast iron hitch one with the Brindley this one's mine that one's my dad's um, a gang set of disc that one's my brother's and that one's my dad's and then the Sears one that some other person modified to fit a wheel horse. My brother owns that one too. A few other cultivators I have. These I just get from people for free. And I cut these up for this section right here because they make really good mid-mount toolbars for the wheel horses or cub or something. So that's what those are for. Um, then my plows, I got 
three of the 12 inches right here. I've got another one laying somewhere in the yard. So I've got four um, of the Brindley ones. That one's a wheel horse one made by Brindley. Then an actual wheel horse brand, um, 10 inch, and then a little Bowens eight inch there. And this is kind of unique. This is a wheel horse Rio. Uh, Rio basically just made um, push mowers and stuff. Some of them were self-propelled little reel mowers and they wanted to get into riding stuff. So they contracted with wheel horse. And basically all that means is that they put wheel horse's name on it and they use their mower decks. Everything else on this is completely different from any other wheel horse you'll ever see except for the mower deck. And that's why I bought it because it was 50 bucks and I figured the mower deck shell was worth that because it's actually in good shape and has good bearings. So maybe I'll get it running. I haven't decided yet. It's kind of a really horrible belt set up under there. It's got like 30 different belts, but um, yeah, maybe one day I'll get it going. This is a wheel horse I parted out. This is basically just what's left of it. The frame rails, everything else got put to use. Some of our seats. Uh, that's a bad transmission out of the Massey. Here's the Massey that he bought that other one from for the rear end. And this one's been swapped with an eight horse Kohler. This one should be the show. Uh, we need to put a carb kit in it, but as long as we get around to that, it'll be at the show this year. Backtrack here. This is my 70. Uh, I've got the motor in there in the shop. I'm putting rings in it right now and I need to get a connecting rod put in it and then it'll be all good to go. Um, I have a mower deck for this and then that little flat belt pulley there is for the 100 that goes on the PTO. But for the Cubs, at least my 100, I have a factory deck for the 100. I have the square deck conversion kit for the time deck. I've got multiple plows. I've got my Brindley cultivator. I've got a disc. Um, I've got a snow blade for it over there and a few other little knickknacks like that flat belt pulley. And I'm looking to get one of the IH rakes soon and a hydraulic lift kit for it. So the guy I bought it off of has both those for it. This is an 855. 65 was the first year for the square hood. Um, this would have been four speed electric start eight horse Kohler. So kind of unique. Blake's gonna restore this soon. Uh, my dad's anger soul. 3010, this is one year only, I believe 1989. Uh, it was made the first year after Ingersoll bought out the case line and they did not last long because Ingersoll realized how underpowered they were. So they stepped it up to a 12 horse Kohler and discontinued this model. This one's actually already been swapped with a 14 horse block. Uh, the guy was going to build it for pulling. So it's not that underpowered, but kind of a cool body to see because they're not that common. And then over here in the shed, Got a whole mess of stuff. Some of my chainsaws in here. I'm getting ready for the fall. One of Blake's eight horse Kohlers. He's got about 20 of them that are not on tractors. There's three rows there of blocks and complete engines, kind of a mixture and then gas tanks. And some up on the bench. That's where he got that uh, starter gen from was that one there. And then here's my 875 I was talking about. This one's a lot more unusual than a lot of our other wheel horses. This is a first year for the square hood and first year for the hydrostat, which makes it kind of unusual. It's also got the eight horse. They made this one this year in two variations. They had the 875 and a 1075, which would have had the 10 horse. Um, but yeah, kind of unique. I've always really liked these. It's been kind of a bucket list tractor for me. So this one will not be at the show, obviously. It's got a ways to go, but it will be in videos whenever I get it done. Up here is the motor for the 70 Cub. I've got it clear coated and everything and parts for all other kinds of projects. So now we'll head out to the pavilion and see what's under there. Under the pavilion here is where most of the dirty work of the restorations take place. Blake's been working under here most recently. This right here is a 605 with a different hood. But uh, this one will probably get restored eventually too. It's got a long ways to go. It's got all kinds of modifications on it. In fact, this is actually the original frame rails and toolbox from that 855, but the ones on the 605 are better. So he put those on there. And this one will be kind of just a work tractor once it gets restored. 
if that it may just get clear coat but this one will get cleaned up we'll take all this aftermarket stuff off and it'll get a pull start Kohler at some point so yeah and then all the other wheel horse parts in here and finally I'll walk through some of the parts the Alice Chalmers stuff here is all for sale on marketplace right now that deck is for the 70 or the 100 it works it needs covers but it works fine um, it was on the 70 and I just took it off when I took the motor out to rebuild it wheel horse uh, rear discharge it's been converted to side shoot really nice wheel horse blade another blade frame and blade forts right there more Alice Chalmers stuff that's the 716 that I took that 16 horse out of for my other one it's going to a friend soon who needs the rear end um, the one in this one didn't really go out but all the lines are just junk and you have to like take it all apart to replace the lines and I'm not a big fan of hydrostats anyways so I just took the 16 horse and threw it in my four speed and called it a day um, yeah blade and deck that's all on marketplace then over here we've got a whole mess of tires those ones there are going on to my one that I'm restoring those are wheel horse script you can see right there um, some good years some front ags for the Alice Chalmers a lot of wheel horse tires some Goodyear ags on the factory rims those are optioned from the dealer on a John Deere 110 round fender so they're kind of cool they're in really good shape more Goodyears down there Goodyears over here some Firestones on the bottom at the very bottom is BF Goodrich and then this is a mess because I had to pull a deck out of here to sell to a guy and I haven't cleaned it up yet but there's a big like 42 inch wheel horse deck under this little like 38 or whatever size it is deck shell and then there's a square deck that was the one that came on my cub 100 with the fairly complete uh square deck time deck conversion kit it's missing the front plate for the mule drive but it can run off a normal mule drive anyways and then there's wheel horse for discharge wheel horse square deck and then another 110 round fender deck in there so yeah that's the collection as it sits like I said, this is all going to a show later this week. It is the Steamarama Tractor Show, uh, hosted for the first time this year at their new grounds in Halltown, Missouri. So if you're local, show up. If you see us, say hi. Um, I enjoy talking to people, and I'll probably be in the swap meet if you can't find me by the tractors. So yeah, have a good one.